Right, here we go, S2000 time. We're gonna talk about plumbing. Plumbing of oil and water. We've had a few questions, so we're gonna try and help you out. On the S2000, we have to run a remote thermostat housing. So on here, we've got a sandwich plate. This is then bolted up where the oil filter would normally be. So you've got a water cooler oil cooler there in front, and then a sandwich plate with a mushroom cap on here. Now this has to be tightened up. Now everybody asks about torques on those. You have to tighten it just so that it doesn't leak. So it's probably around the 60 foot pounds sort of mark in terms of that sort of torque setting. Now the pipe work for this, we take the bottom outlet here of the sandwich plate, runs along and up to the thermostat housing, remote one, at the, uh, to the rear one here. Now we have to make a little bracket to bolt this on. It's a little L-shaped bracket to drop this down in this location. It's a very simple one. You can make that with rib nuts or a piece of bent alley, etc., as well. And then the return line, sorry, the feed line here is on the opposite side. So you've got two in, then out. And that then goes under here. Sorry, here, and we'll get the camera down lower. That feeds here, just goes between the radiator and the steering bag, and then feeds up into the oil cooler. Now, once that's feeding in, that's coming along, cooling down, and then it will come out this side and drop again between the radiator and the steering rack, and then that returns up to the very top here of the thermostat housing. Just at that top there. So top is there, and then this one, the lower one, goes to the thermostat housing. And that gives you that. Just above it here, you can see here we've put in, this is the um, oil pressure sensor. Uh, we pick that up if you're running the DigiDash or a separate insulation sort of thing. We run the oil pressure solenoid there for the system.